one in four employees worry about money every day. This affects employees, organisations and the economy as a whole. Most employers now recognise that financial well-being is linked to productivity. But what is financial well-being? Financial well-being is about people feeling secure and in control. It's about knowing you can make the right decisions day to day about your money, you can deal with unexpected shocks and you're on track for a healthy financial future. So in short, it's about feeling confident and empowered that you can make the right decisions about your money day to day and all the way through your life. As an employer, it's important to have a financial well-being approach that fits your employee profile, aligns with your overall benefit package and to test and evaluate what works best. Having a financial well-being strategy uh, is vitally important. Um, as a UK employer, we, we have around 35,000 people uh, working for us in the UK um, and financial health uh, is a key component and a key focus area. Um, and it's important as a responsible business that we help our employees uh, with their financial health. In the Financial Capability Lab, we worked on 17 innovative ideas and tested the most promising ones with over 130,000 people. Two ideas that we tested were payroll savings and peer-to-peer -peer financial guidance. Supporting employees to save more is an essential part of financial well-being. Payroll saving schemes allow employees to save a part of their salary automatically and easily. But letting employees know a payroll saving scheme exists may not be enough to get them to sign up. In a recent trial, we found that letting employees know that an account had been opened for them and all they had to do was sign up led to the highest rates of people signing up. Upskilling staff to provide peer-to-peer -peer financial guidance in the workplace is another promising idea. There are some general principles that you should keep in mind when developing a financial well-being approach. Not every solution will work for every employee. Profiling your employees' needs will help you design benefits that suits them best. Consider different avenues that you could use to support your employees. Their needs could be diverse, from everyday budgeting to managing debt to saving for the future. But you're not on your own. The Money and Pension Service can help you find innovative ideas that suit your employee needs. Championing financial well-being is for everyone, and you can start small. We found that small and medium-sized organisations have built trust with their employees, which can help them design approaches that make a real difference to their employees' financial well-being. So everybody wants to talk about using evidence, and everyone wants to use evidence-based approaches, of course, but often we're not really tough enough ourselves on that. So quite often, things that people have thought have been affected, be it in medicine or education, or indeed in what firms do, when it's been systematically tested, doesn't always turn out to be effective. So it's really worth building our practice on actual hard evidence-based, um, including in relation to uh, financial advice and security. Beyond that, especially for larger firms, it's worth going, not just using the existing evidence base, but saying, let's test it in this particular context. Because quite often something which is found to be effective in one place may not work in another. To sum it up, there are many ways to support your employees' financial well-being, and it is worthwhile keeping these key considerations in mind as you develop your financial well-being approach. The Financial Capability Lab was developed by the Behavioural Insights Team and the Money and Pension Service to test innovative ideas to help people make the most of their money and pensions. Find out more about financial well-being in the workplace and how we can support you.